Alrighty then, so I'm gonna do a quick video before I um, get the hood completely on. Just kind of show you where I'm at on, on what I decided to do to brace this front end. Um, so right now the, um, uh, the front of the, the bottom hole, the outer hole sections are cut loose towards the front of the stringers and the, um, the engine bearers. And the outer two, front two outer braces there on both sides. So this whole thing's pretty loose. Um, and with the hood off, you know, you can, you can move this front end, you know. So that's, you know, when you have a, a good kit, all the bends are good, everything lines up. You know, when you put your hood on, it's, it should just fit, you know. And you're, you should be all straight and level. When you get to this point, you shouldn't, you know, this, all this bracing is due to having a twist down there that I'm making up for up here to make my hood fit. Obviously not fitting the hood in under tension like you would if you were building the kit normally. Um, Cause you know, when the hood sits on here <clears throat> with the normal um, assembly, you know, you have overlap on both sides and you're pulling it out to fit the hood, putting, putting the whole front end under tension, which gives you support, you know, all the way down your panels, up and over and around the whole hood so you know that's that's a normal way of doing it obviously I'm making up for a twisted hole which means with the hood off I have to correct if I want the top level and even left to right side to side so what I've decided to do is these are all pieces off of the bulkhead that I bought which is a lifesaver because I'd be finding these parts myself but this is the top off the bulkhead top four inches and I decided well you know if I just put that on there um, as a straight piece of metal it's pretty weak so I decided to cut out another piece off of the bulkhead here and um, and just weld it on you know to give it rigidity so that when I put it on you know that's that's not gonna that's not gonna allow movement um, you know of course you use the uh, boat building kit here to push the sides out to where I'm, I'm up even in the corners and that's the original CNC cutout for the bulkhead. You know, I don't know what that would normally look like if you assembled your whole hood and then you went to put your bulkhead in. You know, if you have a, a good kit and you did it right and everything, you know, you know, I assume you'd, you just set that in your gaps wouldn't be that bad and, and it would match your hole the way it's supposed to be and that's why I've used that as a it's kind of a guide and a jig, you know, to, as I'm correcting for twists and stuff, to just use pieces, get that up in the corner, you know, make those side panels be at an angle that, you know, the CNC cut out for the bulkhead was. So um, I got these side panels in, you know, right now, you know, the bottoms, the, the twist is down at the bottom. And, you know, if you can see that it's, now that bar is straight, I've checked it. It's, it's round stock, but it's pretty heavy duty. Um, you know, the back's pretty even, straight and level. You know, and this is under tension. So I'm gonna go ahead and, this side's already tacked in. You know, that, that bottom bulkhead piece. I'd cut this side off, you know, um, to get more twist out of it, you know, to where I could get this to move so that I could get this whole thing let straight and level. So, I haven't yet tacked that in, but I do have this tacked in, I have this cross brace on in the corner, um, and, and I will tack that back up. Essentially, <clears throat> once I get that in, get that top piece on, make sure, you know, my top to bottom um, level is pretty good. You know, where it's gonna be, once, once I put that top brace in, you know, this bracing here shouldn't, shouldn't allow for any movement. But it's basically making up for what the hood would normally do is if I put the hood on top, you know, I can't put both sides under even pressure to, 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 to cause the pressure by installing the hood that, that creates the rigidity. So I have to put the, the hood on top, trim the overlap and make it fit what's already rigid. And of course it's going to make it more rigid, you know, and I'm probably going to trim to where 
you know, I can put a little pressure on that hole outward, you know, and tack it back forward like you're originally supposed to, just for a little bit of that rigidity. The problem is I'm gonna have this all tacked in, so it's not really gonna, <laughs> it's not really gonna move. So I mean, I probably, you know, I'm gonna have to trim that really close, you know, the hood that is. Um, but anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. Um, the hood will make it more rigid, obviously, but it's, it's not going to be that, that, you know, without the bulkhead, it wouldn't be adequate on its own because I wouldn't be able to put that pressure on the edges to, to, um, to tack that in and have it, it and the hole do what this bracing is actually going to be doing now. So looks like it's working out pretty well that way. You know, to stand back and look at it and, and look at the bottom of the hole, it really doesn't look that bad. So I, I just don't see any performance issues as far as that goes. Um, you know, it's been kind of a nightmare to figure out. You know, I suppose for people that have done these, have had these kind of issues, you know, they would know. You know, good luck finding that information on, online. And that's why I'm doing the videos. So, you know, if you have issues on your build when you get to this point, where you're putting your hood on and things are twisting, well, you gotta go back to the source of the problem, figure out what that is, solve it, you know, to try and get back up to where when you're putting your hood on, you have a square and level boat. Um, I tried, you know, everything I could think of to try and, and make that happen, it just wasn't going to. And I don't think there's any problems with the way I'm doing it now. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking when I get that top brace in, since, since I'm not putting pressure on these sides, I'm not moving these sides to get the hood tack, tacked on and welded, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and weld the inside of all this. You know, I got the hood off. That's the structure there that's holding it in place, not the hood. So, I mean, the hood is, <coughs> after the fact, it's added rigidity, but it's not, it's not what's, what's uh, making it, <coughs> what, what's actually holding now my top brace and these side braces are taking the place of what the hood nor normally would be doing as a, as a more primary function in rigidity in the front of the hole. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and weld the inside of all this, you know, why the hood's off and then fit the hood. You know, this bracing's there. It's not going to move. That, that, I'll weld up the bracing first, you know, and it's, it's not going anywhere. So... Um, that's the plan. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Anybody building one and gets to the stage, you know, you know, I have pretty, pretty bad bends and some bad angles and stuff. And, you know, obviously you can make up for it, but you have to figure that out, you know, and I'm sure some of the stuff that I was working through in previous videos was wrong. Um, but you know, you put those things to test when you, when you try to fix them. You know, and I could go back through all those videos and try and figure out everything I said that would have been wrong. But, you know, I didn't receive any input that was helpful as far as coming to, to the right conclusion to solve my problem. Um, you know, certainly not this. So, you know, cutting the engine bearers back and just straightening it up, it's all fine and good, but that, you know, that was part of it. And someone suggested that, and that's great because that little bit of information kind of makes you think on it, you know, consider it and then think how that would affect things. You know, obviously with the hood on, cutting all those supports did nothing. You know, I just basically proved that hood is setting, is setting everything. You know, if it, if the bottom's off and you put the hood on, you know, something has to conform. One thing has to conform to the other. You know, and with the hood on, trying to make corrections after you've tacked the hood on, um, it's really a, a, a losing battle. I, I wouldn't suggest that anybody tried it, but you know, if you do and you want to spend that time and effort, <coughs> go for it. You know, I, I, I did some pretty serious efforts on that, and all to no avail. So this was my final answer. Just loosen up the front end, square it up, brace it, put the hood on, trim it, make it fit, weld it together, you know, and 
you know, and doing it this way, I don't have to climb in there and do all my inside welds, you know, with the hood on. Uh, at least, you know, I obviously have to do the top edges. Um, you know, on the top of the braces, they'll get tacked to the hood. I'm not going to weld the hood to the, any of the inside braces um, until I get the windscreen on. So I figured, well, we'll see how that goes. But, you know, setting the windscreen on there, it's pretty obvious that I'm going to have to do a lot of pushing and pulling, you know, because those two surfaces have to meet and uh, <clears throat> figure out what's even. You know, if I, if I tack my brace to the hood, well, I'm not going to be able to move that metal like I might need to. So, you know, these are below the, the level surface, so they shouldn't be pushing up. They'll give a little bit of give down. But when I put that windscreen on, it looks like, you know, things are going to have to come up. The windscreen's going to have to conform down to it. They're going to have to meet at certain points and get tacked. You know, I'm going to have to refine center because, you know, right now I have these stringers and I know from when I put the stringers on, I found center, you know, so I can't use that as center for the windscreen like I was going to. Basically, I'm going to have to put that on, trim it, um, you know, and, and tack, it, tack it on at least before I figure out um, where exactly, uh, what center for the windscreen. You know, not a big deal. Plus, you know, I'm still gonna have these three quarter inch gaps on both sides right here, because I had to pull that hood forward to get overlap so that I could uh, make things fit. So there's quite a bit to do. It's, it's nothing I'll make any more videos for, because, you know, filling in three quarter gaps, welding it up and, you know, finishing it off is pretty basic stuff. Um, <clears throat> you know, so, you know, I get to another, you know, get all this completed. Um, I get to the next step, whatever that is. We'll see about the windscreen. I might just figure it out, get it done, you know, do a video and if there's anything there that I think was special and I'll, I'll do a video on that.